Yep. Back out. Be seeing you. I'm out in the middle of the night. In the middle of nowhere. You can't see now. Torch on. That's a Phoenix torch. Very good. It's been excellent. Using it quite a bit. Oh. I'm not gonna for this. I right, saw so last week was the annual Christmas meetup. We don't film that. That's just the that's just the lads getting together, you know what I mean? We ended up in the Pennines. Absolutely freezing, minus eight or something. I think we had a thermometer outside, it's minus eight outside. Saw the northern lights. Well, the phone saw them. No, I didn't see them. You could just make out the red, but the green was uh wasn't visible the green. So I it's just Friday night. I just got um cabin fever, so I've got to be out. Just a short one. It's just a short hike at the top of here. Been here before. It's now new. Turn off now. Unsubscribe, hate, and all the rest of it. Send letters. But anyway. I'm going to get up the top, there was a car in the car park So I'm, I'm not sure if there's somebody up here There might be Could be Because it's quite a, a little short hill to get up It's good for overnight, it's just for little cheeky ones It's only 5 o'clock at night, it's pitch black You'd think it was blooming midnight Anyway, we'll push on and get this tent up before the rain comes the Rain's forecast High winds as well, I think. But it'll not be too bad at this height. Whew, right. Oh man. Just in the nick. I got the tent up and the rain started. <laughs> Just. That was good timing there. See? That's because I'm a professional. Professional campist. Alright, let's see what we've got then. Friday night, so a couple of beers. One or two, I've got this one here, which I don't think I'll drink, like, I'm not a big fan of the stout, but Unite in a space race to find dark matter Decadent stout It's a Northern Monk, that one, Northern Monk collab with Wiper and True 8.4% man Don't know about that But I've just got the usual That's me tea, nothing extravagant tonight Princess chicken katsu curry, I tell you what, right? Not a word of a lie, that is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I had that the other week, just in the house, and I thought, I'm having that on a camp. With a bit of egg fried, good blue dragon. Pork pies if I get hungry, which I am, to be fair, I might have one. And I've got the old hip flask, I found it. I found it, and I went to Tesco. Um, with my club, my club card points, I had four quid on that. And I'm an old man. And um, so I had, there was a bottle of Laphroaig, the Select Cask, not the normal Laphroaig, but the Select Cask was, uh, I think it was on offer. With your club card, it was £26. So with the club card, £26, was normally for 35 or something. And um, with the £4 vouchers, I got for £22, bottle of Lafroig, £22, get in, that'll do me, so that's for later, a little nip, I'll make that last the weekend, I'll not finish it, like, I'm not a massive whiskey drinker these days, I do still like the odd nip, like, um, what else, this lantern here is magic, right, I'm not joking, this is the best thing ever, fire maple I've ever made, I've, I've showed it before in the, um, if you look at the stealth camp where I was in the graveyard, this, this lantern features in that, but I didn't really get a good run through because I misplaced it, shall I say. So here it is anyway, it's got, um, that, that is so bright, that, last week in the bothy, it was pitch black, you couldn't see anything, so I hung that up from the ceiling in the bothy. Stoker will back us up on this, it lit up the whole room, as if it was your front room. <laughs> it was unbelievable, the size of it. The light that throws is unbelievable. 
that's on the dim switch. They reckon that'll last for like 18 hours on that. Red, which is nice when you want to chill out. And then it flashes red. Nobody ever uses that, do they? But yeah, fire maple, it's excellent. You know, I don't have to plug that now, but I do. And I'm still using this, this stove as well, which I'm absolutely loving. The, um, What's it called? The Mars Radiant, is it? This Radiant stuff. Had that in the Bothy last week. And we were all standing around it, warming our hands up. Turned it on and we had my hands above it like this, right up here. And the heat coming off it was amazing. It's excellent. It's more, of a, more of a space heater than a stove. It boils water in about a minute, like. It's really good. I've got a towel because I was expecting rain. Um, I've got a change of clothes there down jacket, which I don't know, it's mild tonight, like it's weird, it's about seven degrees, it's very strange. I've got my Alp kit pots for cooking the curry. God, I've had them years, I've had them since I first started. I've got the new Thermarest sent as the new mat that's replaced. Let's see how long this one lasts, very good of them to do that, but I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit spectacle of Thermarest, this Uber light anyway. Normal thermorests are bomb proof apparently, but this seems a little bit fragile. Maybe this is just me. Big useless off. Anyway, so I've got the music on and I'm gonna have a beer because it's gonna be a long night this. Just sat in the tent. I'm gonna pop out if it stops raining. It's stopped now. So I can get back out and tighten the guy lanes. And um it, the tent needs tight tension a bit. Yep, so it's all good. It's all good. Friday night camp. Lovely. Wasn't looking forward to setting the tent up, but it went up in a, it went up in a jiffy. Oh, what on? Oh, what on? Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, the weather's uh, on and off, hit and miss with the rain. It didn't miss like. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit wet. Wind's picking up. I've got the uh, the old ground anchors in the delta pegs. Ah, oh, we're sitting pretty. It's getting a bit cold now. Like. Oh, it's getting a, bit, a little bit chilly. I'll just get in the tent right, and I'll tell you the crack. The crack is. Oh, the crack is right. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm not an idiot. Well, I am an idiot. But what's happened is, I've lost me, um, I've got a little pouch, I don't know if you've ever seen it in the old videos. A little crag hoppers pouch, zip pouch. And I keep everything in there. Like, let's get, let's get in. <laughs> right. Hang on, bear with us, bear with. Oh, I'll turn that off. Right. So yeah, I have, um, a little pouch of many things, right? Like cutlery, um, sugar, little milk, all that sort of thing. And I've lost it, right? I don't know where it is. I've had it for years and years. And I've lost it. And in that pouch is two lighters. Right? So, I think you know where this is going, don't you? So this stove here, we've got to use a lighter to light it, basically. And the other one, the MSR stove, you've got to use a lighter to uh, well, light that as well. And what we just said about the pouch being lost with the lighters in. So I've got no lighter, I've got no stove, I can't have my tea. So that's that. So the curry survives for another night. I'll probably have it tomorrow. I'll be in the van tomorrow, so I'll have that. Unbelievable. I have got four pork pies and a few beers. I was thinking about having it cold, but nah, you can't have it cold, can you? Oh, man. Right, so, just an update on how the weather is and how the food situation is. The rain stopped anyway. Still not nice, but it's coming and going. Oh, I think it will come back. Oh, I saw. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not, I'm not massively hungry. I mean, there, it is now a survival situation. You know, I can't, I can't live. Right? I, I could die. If I don't eat that, I could die. Especially with the rice. You know what I mean? This is not gonna, this is not gonna keep me alive. Two pork pies, well, four. I've had two already. I can't actually feel me ribs. I can't feel me ribs. So I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I mean, if I don't survive it, whoever finds this video, just upload it, you know. Um, my password's on my phone for the video. So I'll just upload it. And uh, I went doing what I love. I need a new pouch. Oh, here we go. See, there is the curry that I can't have. Oh, I can't believe. I can't believe I've had. I've had me four pork pies. Four pork pies. Right. That's it. I mean, it, it is a survival situation, but I can. Uh, I can handle it. I'm having this dark matter, dark matter, matter. Mm. Oh, tell you what, straight away. That's a nice drink, and that's lovely. It's like uh, you got like that caramel, the caramel toffee chocolate flavour. Mm, I like it. I don't normally do beer reviews, but. The Northern Monk, Dark Mata, Dark Mata, 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 Mata. Mm. It's nice. I like it. I do. I like it. I like it. What was I going to say? I came back for a reason. I've had no food. Ah, don't worry about that. I mean, it is a survival situation, and I will eat my own feces if I have to, you know. But that chicken katsu curry. Oh man, I was so looking forward to that. <laughs> I was really looking forward to it. Now I can't have it. My God, I have to wait. I have to wait 24 hours for it. But you know. More tea. Like oh God, I was really sick there. Um, <coughs> so that's it, really. Nah, uh, that's all there is to it. Hiccups. I've got. I've got hiccups. Um, I've got no beer left. <gasps> no oh, man. And I've had no food. So all in all, it's been a really good camp. And, uh, oh, that's it. I'd just like to say one thing is, uh, thank you to all the uh, subscribers. I hit 9,000 subscribers. How many of them subs are bots, mind? I've probably, I've probably only got about 1,500. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a, there's a thing you can check on the um, the, uh, the internet, and it says uh, like the YouTube subs, all your YouTube subs, you can have like 150,000 subs, but you're only getting like 25,000, 30,000 views. So where where the hell's all the rest of them subs? Like where's the hundred and odd thousand, the hundred and thirty thousand missing subs? So I reckon. The views I get is about average, I think average about three and a half, 3,500 uh, views with 9,000 subs. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many, I don't know how many of them are bots, but the ones who are not bots, big thumbs up to you for subscribing. This channel, right, is basically, it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter what I put out, it's just for me, it's selfish reasons, 
or, or is it? It's selfish reasons because all I did it for to start with was so I can watch it back <clears throat> when I'm like get out and infirm and I like sitting in a sitting in a wheelchair in the care home gun. Oh look, look, there I am up up there, up the old Sullivan and all that. That was 25 years ago. I mean it's it's quite sad. It's quite sad to think that might maybe one day I won't be able to do it. I don't know, that is really sad, isn't it? Imagine that like imagine if you're like twenty-five years old now and in twenty-five years you're watching my video from now in twenty twenty-five years ago. Thinking, oh that that poor old fella, you know, he died he died ten years ago. It is quite sad, isn't it? It is actually quite tragic that these these videos will still be here, but I'll be long gone. I don't know. Maybe I've got ten years left. Maybe I've got five years left. Maybe maybe I'll fall off the hill on the way down tomorrow. You just don't know, do you? <laughs> Cheery. So what I would say to you is Times are hard Friends are few If you can still do it Get out and do ta -ra to you Oh It's a true story though isn't it If you can still do it Get out and do it right If you're capable of walking up a hill You're also capable of taking a tent up a hill and camping on that hill. So do it. Do it. Because I I think I've got I think I've got about ten years ten years left in me, right? I've got about ten years left in us before I start thinking I can't do this anymore. So that's it. Hey. We'll see you in the morning, aye? The morning. Well, I'll tell you what, right? I'll tell you what, pop pickers. Pop pickers. Oh, they're now then. How's about a little bit of show what ya? What ya? I'm just wondering, right, should I just delete that? <laughs> I'm a child of the 70s, right? Rolf Harris, Stuart Hall, Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. Oh, 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 oh. What a bunch of buggers. Bunch of buggers. Uh, right. So I'm gonna get into bed, right? I've had a, um, I've had a night on the tiles. Um, I'm just having a little bit of a, a drink of the whiskey. Big shout out to Blot Outdoors, right? He's past the 50,000 50, subs, man. Which is amazing. You know, and um, you get my channel, right? I've been going for like 10 years, I think nine, Nine years, nine or ten years I've been going on my channel and I've got 9,000 subs. And by the way, big shout out to the subs. I mean, you're all legends, legends, if you're subscribing to this channel. But it was all about, um, in the, it, it, when I started the channel, it was a case of, I want to watch. I want to watch these videos back when I'm like in a wheelchair, you know. I can't move. I'm like, oh, oh, my knees, my knees. I can't move. Matron, come and wipe me arse. Come and wipe me arse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that's my channel. But Blot Outdoors, he's he's mint like any. He's he's just. He's just cracked it. 
He's part as he's hilarious, man. He's hilarious. Um, but no, what I was saying was, I was saying, I was saying, fair play to all the subscribers that are on this channel. Even the bots, I must have a few bots because you've got 9,000 subscribers but you haven't got 9,000 views. There's got to be a few bots. But that's alright, that's alright. But to be fair, it was all about, I started the channel when I was going to, I was thinking to myself, oh, when, I'm, when I'm an old man and I can't walk and I can't climb the hills anymore. I just wanted to watch these videos back. So it was basically a diary. But everything everything that came with it was great. Everything that came with it. I mean, all the people that interact, you know, you're all brilliant. It's a true story. It's a true story. Sometimes, sometimes I get a little... I get a little bit depressed, you know. I'm not gonna go on about mental health and all that, but sometimes I get a little bit depressed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Slange, slange, wah. And that is a good drop of Scotch malt whiskey. Oh, Christ. Lafroig. So, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. I'm going to turn off now. Oh, I've got hiccups. I'm going to turn off and. We'll see you in the morning. Hopefully get some views. But also, don't forget... <laughs> ah, bloody hiccups. Don't forget, right? I've got the van channel. Andy's camper van FJ19. And I'll do, um, I'll do a little... I'll do a little video of that tomorrow, which is which basically is going to be me sitting in the camper van in a strange location, probably the same location that I've always been. Right, so I'll see you tomorrow, right? We'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Bush, Bush. Morning, Captain Tony. How are you now? Nothing zero. So just zip. <laughs> That's a one-off. Right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I slept well, like nice and comfy here. Yeah. I'm on a slight slope, right? It's sloping down a little bit, but it's really slight. And it head's elevated, so I, I slept well like that. It didn't slide or anything. It didn't slide down, you know? So it was very comfortable, very comfortable. Now I'm wounded because I can't get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I'm going to have to go down to the van for that. Bloody lighters. Oh, if anybody's got a lighter, inbox is it. So I'm going to have a cup of tea. I drank all my beer because I'm a pig. That's me, um, me one thing that I do. I binge drink on a Saturday. I haven't had a, I haven't had a drink since uh, last, last Saturday. Now, no alcohol has passed these lips in a full week. That's why I feel rough. So yeah, I'm gonna get packed up. 
Oh, look, there's me, there's me poor curry that I was going to have. Uh, I was so looking forward to that. That's pretty full. I only had a couple of drinks out, a little couple of nips out of that. Aye, so I just got all my pack, packed away and off before the rain comes. It's looking a bit weird over there, isn't it? Rain's forecast about 10 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock now. So I'll get packed up and then I'll come back when I'm done, right? I'm not too enough. I'll edit that bit out. There we go, all packed away. Flat grass. Leave only flat grass. Not much trace. So, we're on another one of them uh, Roman burial temples. These were made out of copper, these ones. These stones. Forged from copper. Copper forges. Oh. Bleak man, the weather's blooming off. <laughs> it's not camping all the way. Can't really do much. I was ten pound most of the night. Got out a couple of times. And the shop got back in. But uh, yeah, that's it. So just a short one this. But it's just good to get back out, you know, in the tent. Just escape for a while. It's been a hard week at work. What a nightmare. Stressful, mentally, task. What do you call it? Mentally, tasking. Nah, I don't know. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just making it up as I go along. Right, so I'm gonna go drop down here and then back to the van and then off and try and get some breakfast somewhere. So we will see you on the next one, whenever, wherever. As Dolly Parton said. <laughs> oh God, help me.